What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out a very affordable Android TV box and I know we haven't had one of these on the channel for quite some time. So the one that we are checking out today is called the B2Go GT6 and you're probably gonna be able to find this for around 30 to 35 dollars depending on where you buy it. Now this is fairly new so it's not available quite everywhere yet but um, whenever it becomes available in more places I'll try to update the links in the video's description. For those of you that don't know what an Android TV box is, well this is basically like an Android phone but without the screen and the TV becomes your screen. And if you don't have a smart TV, getting one of these TV boxes could basically make um, your TV into a smart TV. So what can you do with one of these? Well you can browse the web, you can watch movies, you can watch videos, you can play games, you can basically do anything that you do with an Android phone. This one is powered by the entry level Amlogic S905W CPU. This is a quad core CPU that's paired with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage and it runs Android 8.1. Since this is an entry level CPU, of course the scores that we get on the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench 4 are fairly low but fairly normal for this particular CPU. Out of that 16 gigs of internal storage you only have about 10 gigs left after the operating system but um, the TV box can take an SD card as well and you can use that SD card to expand the, the internal storage. In the box you're gonna find the TV box itself, the power adapter, an HDMI cable and a remote control. Now I do recommend that you try getting yourself a wireless mouse or a wireless keyboard because using the, the remote control that comes in the box will slow you down quite a bit. But this is the case with pretty much all Android TV boxes. So the remote controls that come with them aren't the greatest remote controls out there. The device itself is mostly made out of plastic. It is very small and very light. On the right hand side we have two USB ports and a slot for that um, SD card. On the back we have the power adapter port, the HDMI out, AV, the network adapter port and optical audio. And talking about the optical audio I was able to get um, Dolby Digital 5.1 going but unfortunately DTS doesn't seem to work so keep that in mind Dolby Digital 5.1 works but not DTS sound so something um, that you may want to know if you're planning to use this for um, surround sound. Connectivity wise this supports Wi-Fi but you're only going to be able to connect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi bands and we don't have Bluetooth connectivity so keep that in mind if you're planning to connect like a Bluetooth controller or some Bluetooth headphones you're not going to be able to do that um, with this. As for the speeds over the Wi-Fi connection and the wired connection they are decent enough and on par with other cheaper TV boxes that I've tried in the past. The launcher that comes pre-installed is fairly simplistic but it's well optimized to be used um, with that remote control that you get in the box but if you want something more complex you can definitely go uh, in the Google Play Store because the Google Play Store comes pre-installed and you can install a different launcher. Alright, so you also get um, the YouTube app that comes pre-installed. This is not the official YouTube app, however with this app um, you can actually watch 4K videos on this um, TV box and most 4K videos do okay. There is a bit of buffering but that's quite normal because those 4K files like, are quite large. But after the buffering um, those videos seem to work good as well. So yes, you do get 4K um, for YouTube videos. I've also tried an app called Showbox. This is an app that allows you to watch TV shows and movies but I do recommend that you use a VPN before actually using this app because um, well it may not be legal everywhere to watch those movies and videos available on this app. Anyways um, everything that I watched on that app on this TV box does seem to work good without any issues as well. As for Netflix, well you can definitely watch Netflix on it but um, due to the low security level that we get to this TV box you're only going to be able to watch Netflix in 480p so not Netflix in HD on this and uh, it will be the same for Amazon Prime or um, if you install the official um, YouTube app or anything like that. So yeah, no Netflix in HD on this TV box. There is also an option in there for screen mirroring and I've tried uh, using an Android device and an iOS device but I couldn't, uh, couldn't get this going. I only get a black screen and nothing happens. So this time I'm gonna say that the screen mirroring doesn't exactly work. Gaming is also possible since you have access to the Google Play Store and you can basically download any game from the Google Play Store but you're gonna be somewhat limited by the processor inside this device. And this is a quick example of a game that I played earlier and I think it played really good considering that we have um, only an entry level quad core CPU. So let's check out that game. Thank you. 
Next, I want to show you some video files so you can see how the device performs. But basically, if you're watching something in 4K 30 frames per second, it will do great and anything below that. But if you're planning to watch like 4K at 60 frames per second, well, it's not exactly going to work. You're just going to get a black screen. So I'll play a couple of um, video files and I'll be right back. So there you have it. This is the B2GO GT6. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer any comments that you may have. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can press that like button um, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.